count has gotten to him. Marquez was off balance again. Now gets his feet back and tries to roar back to Neil Pacquiao with the right hand. Oh, no, oh, Jim. He get up. He's not oh, getting up, he Jim. Get up. He's not getting up. No, he's been knocked out. A sensational. And it may mean. Masakit para sa ating mga Pinoy boxing fans. Na makitang matalo ang ating mga kababayang Pinoy boxers. Lalo na kung ito ay sa pamamagitan ng knockout. Gaya na lang nang nangyari sa ating pambansang kamao, Manny Pacquiao. Nang patulugin ito, sa 6th round, ng Mexican boxer na si Juan Manuel de Namita Marquez, sa kanilang ikaapat na pagharap, noong December 8, 2012, na ginanap sa MGM Grand Garden Arena Las Vegas. 10 segundo, bago matapos ang round 6, ay isang pamatay na counter right hand, ang pinakawala ni Marquez na tumama mismo sa mukha ni Pacman. Na naging dahilan, ng pagbagsak nito sa lona, at hindi na muling nakabangon pa. Sa forma nga ng pagkaka-knockout ni Marquez kay Pacman, ay pwede mo itong ihalin tulad, sa estilong jolt counter punch ni Ichiro Miyata. Na isang character, sa isang sikat na Japanese manga series na Hajime no Iko. na mas kilala nating mga Pinoy, na knockout, na isa sa mga sikat na anime TV series na unang pinalabas noong November 2002, sa Pilipinas. Halikayot balikan natin, ang maaksyon, na sa pa ang Pacquiao vs. Marquez 4. At ang maladyo counter punch ni Ichiro Miyata, na ginamit ni Marquez, upang patulugin ang ating pambansang kamao, Manny Pacquiao. Pero bago natin simulan ang video, ay huwag po natin kalimutang, mag-subscribe, at i-hit ang notification bell button, para lagi kang updated sa mga video uploads ko, in the future. Jolt Counter Para po sa mga hindi nakakaalam, ang ibig sabihin ng jolt counter, ay isang uri ng counter punch, na kung saan ilalagay ng fighter, ang buong bigat ng kanyang katawan, sa isang suntok. na kung tatama ng solido, ay tiyak na masama ang magiging epekto nito, sa tatamaan nito. Hindi madaling gawin ang teknik na ito. Para maisagawa ito, at may patama sa kalaban, ay kailangan ng matinding focus at timing. Kailangang mahulaan ng fighter, ang papasok na suntok ng kalaban. At pagkatapos, ay ikuposisyon nito, ang kanyang ulo, at katawan kung saan, maari nitong maiwasan, ang paparating na suntok. Pag umatake na ang kalaban, ay bahagyang inuyuko ng fighter, ang kanyang ulo, upang iwasan ang atake nito. Habang umiiwas, ay susuntok din ang fighter. At sasabayan ng fighter ang suntok ng kalaban, na may bahagyang pagtulak sa kamao nito. Sa madaling salita mga kakidlat, ay pag tumama na ang suntok, sa mukha ng kalaban, ay sasamahan ito ng pagtulak. <tod> Sobrang lakas at napakadelikado ng suntok na ito, kaya't mga ekspertong counter-puncher lamang, ang naglalakas ng loob gumamit, ng teknik na katulad nito, dahil kung magkataon, na counter-puncher din ang paggagamitan ng suntok na ito, ay pwedeng ma-counter, ang sariling counter ng fighter, na gumagamit nito, at sa isang iglap, ay pwedeng mabaligtad ang laban. Gaya ng nangyari, sa laban ng Pacquiao vs. Marquez 4. Kung saan tinamaan si Pacman, na maladyo counter na suntok sa mukha, na naging dahilan ng pagtulog nito. Hali kayo at balikan natin ang madugo at maksyong highlights ng laban. Sa naunang dalawang round, ay na-dominate ni Pacman ang laban. Maliban sa round 3, dahil na-knockdown ito, sa pamamagitan, ng isang looping overhand right, na tumama ng solid, sa panga nito. You know, For that left to take that left hand now when it gets through. 
Or maybe Manny has less power, as some people have speculated. Yeah. Another left hand landed for Pacquiao on Chin, and then he threw to the body with the left hand. Pac-Man seems very motivated here, I must say, Jim. He's happy, he's enjoying himself, and he's constantly on the attack. And he's befuddling Marquez with all that movement. Head movement, upper body movement, keeping his feet going. It's an exhausting way to fight. He's carried it through very well for the first two and a half rounds. Another straight left hand down the pipe lands for Pacquiao. And he gets Pacquiao, or gets Marquez again with the left as he goes by. He's fainting Marquez out of the game. He's fainting him. Marquez stays still. Next time, instead of fainting, he comes. And Marquez is right there. And he's not nearly as stationary a target for Marquez's counters as has been the case in the past. So Marquez makes a smart choice and goes to the body with the left hook. Very smart choice. Another body shot by Marquez. That'll be the way to go if Pacquiao keeps all this movement up. Got to find a way to slow it down. Oh! Right, by Marquez! And for the first time in four fights, Manny Pacquiao has been knocked out. That's the first time in 39 rounds that Juan Manuel Marquez has been able to put Manny Pacquiao down, and he did it with his signature right hand over the top. And that's the punch, the Luba punch, I told you that the weightlifting would definitely benefit. And he stunned Pacquiao with that right hand as well. So this is going to be a two-point round for Marquez. Unless Pacquiao can retaliate. Marquez has been measuring Pacquiao, who's been the more aggressive fighter, and that time he measured him for the right hand. Good left uppercut by Marquez. Pacquiao's totally on the defensive now. Now he starts to throw again. He won't stay defensive for long. You already know that. Those body shots with the left hook by Marquez set up the right hand over the top. They sure did, because just like Pacquiao was using face to hold him, he used the body shot to hold Pacquiao still. A fight breaks out in Vegas at the end of round three. Manny Pacquiao was knocked down by Ron Manuel Marquez. He tried to retaliate, but Marquez... Kitang kita, nanayanig si Pacman sa pagkaka-knockdown nito. Solid na tumama ang kanang kamao ni Marquez sa panga ni Pacman. Ngunit imbes na panghinaan ng loob, ay mas lalo itong naging agresibo at patuloy na dinominate ang mga sumunod na rounds. Pagdating ng round 5, ay nakascore si Pacman ng knockdown, tinamaan ito si Marquez ng isang left straight sa panga na naging dahilan upang itukod nito ang gloves sa lona. <laughs> Means he's very focused, Larry. And he sees it coming, whereas in the earlier fights, he got hit by punches he probably didn't see. Well, you gotta be careful, though, because once again, Pacquiao is sitting down on his punches, and Pacquiao is giving him some feints. And Marquez right there. And there goes the knockdown. Marquez Manny Pacquiao evens up the knockdown oh. count as he puts oh. Marquez on the canvas, Six. or at least forces Seven. him to touch his glove to the canvas to score the knockdown in round five. Now oh. let's see if Marquez tries to retaliate down the stretch of this round. Oh, oh. there's just so many left hands you can take yeah, Marquez, from Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, Marquez wasn't respecting the face, and that's how Pacquiao caught it. Oh! Huge right hand by Marquez. Pacquiao was able to stand up. This may be the best fight yet. Yeah, this is a blood-curdling <laughs> war so far. I mean, they promised toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but we've heard that story before, and uh, seldom do fighters really try it at this level of the game. Well, this is a different brand of toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is step-back toe-to-toe. <laughs> like that. One step back and we banging. Good body shot by Pacquiao. That may have hurt Marquez. Pacquiao's feeling good now after knocking Marquez down. His job is to get out of the round. Oh, Marquez, Marquez is being able to retaliate. Marquez is hurt bad. Right Marquez hand. is hurt Marquez bad. Marquez is Peter wobbling. Marquez He's is hurt trouble. bad. Pacquiao attacks. 
He may think he has him. But Marquez hurt bad. Marquez still wobbling. His back out drives him into the corner. And Marquez won't hold. Doesn't Marquez have his legs hold. back yet. Marquez still wobbling. Fighting almost as though he's injured a leg. But he is fighting back. Boy, five years ago, we didn't know that Marquez had that in him. But he is fighting back from some really killer shots. What a round! What a round! Matapos makaganti ng knockdown sa round 5 ni Pacman, ay halos tapusin na nito ang laban. Nagbitaw ito na maraming kombinasyon na naging dahilan upang mabasag ang ilong nito at magdugo. From dormancy in this rivalry, sometimes it's his most effective punch. Sa round six, ay halos hindi na makahinga si Marquez dahil sa dami ng dugo na lumalabas sa ilong nito na sinamantala naman ni Pacman para tapusin na sana ang laban. Hanggang sa sumapit ang huling sampung segundo ng round, ay bumitaw si Pacman ng isang right straight na sa hindi inaasahang pangyayari ay nagpakawala si Marquez ng isang malakas at solid na maladyo counter na kanang sunto na agad tumapos sa laban. Fate, or he's going to stay behind. And it, look, it looks a little bit like Marquez is having trouble breathing because of the blood in his mouth. Pacquiao lands another nose. straight left hand shot. And another. Oh, no, 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 no. Two champions performing like champions. Yes, sir. See those movements right there? That's what's causing Marquez the most trouble. Because when Pacquiao does that, Marquez doesn't really realize how close Pacquiao has gotten to him. Marquez was off balance again. Now gets his feet back and tries to roar back to nail Pacquiao with the right hand. Oh! oh. That's another knockdown! He's not getting up, Jim! He get up? He's not getting up, Jim! He get up? He's not getting up. No, he's been knocked out! A sensational right hand knockout by a bloodied Juan Manuel Marquez. And that is the keystone moment of his career. Manny Pacquiao is still face down. And it may mean a fifth fight between Marquez and Pacquiao. Kung kayo ang tatanungin, goal counter nga ba ang ginamit ni Marquez upang patulugin ang ating pambansang kamao, Manny Pacquiao? Pakicomment nyo naman sa baba ang mga opinion nyo. At kung nagustuhan nyo ang ating video, pakilike and share na din po. Maraming salamat, God bless everyone.